What's going on guys? It's Venom 2 Million and uh oh, <laughs> we've got some information go that's advertisements for you. We got some information to go over here on this uh, good old fashioned Spider Man goodness news. Some news about Spider Man in the Civil War film. Now, if you did not know, the Russo brothers were the ones that are directing the Civil War film. And they had a conversation with Forbes magazine in which they're talking about this. So, we're going to read about this. We're going to talk about the role Spider Man will have in the film, the role that I think will have. Um, but kind of getting this information from what they said and kind of my own mind, my own mental. So, Let's read it. The first question that's asked regarding Spider-Man to the Russo brothers are this. Spider-Man made an appearance at the end of the most recent Captain America Civil War trailer. Did you always intend to put him in there, or did you feel your hand was forced by the fans? This is what uh, Joe Russo, I think that's his name, John Russo... JR, whatever. He says, we always intended to. He was my favorite character growing up. I still have my collection of comics in my closet. So it was a dream come true for us to be able to have Spidey in the movie and interpret him as a character so we couldn't be more excited and we wanted to share that with everybody else. Then the brother, the other brother goes on and says, also, I think it was a little bit of a correction because it was a very complicated deal that Sony had to work out with Marvel Studios and Disney in order to make that work. We were very quiet about Spider-Man's involvement in the movie for much longer than we would have than we would have been. We were artificially silent on the character because it was such a sensitive deal still being worked out even while we were shooting. We went through a very thorough casting process. We tested Tom Holland vigorously with Chris Evans and Robert Downey Jr. We screen tested him along with several other actors. It was a very intense part of making Captain America Civil War because he was an important part of the movie to us. Finally, it all secure. Finally, it's all secure and we're at a place where we can present him even in just a small taste. JR then continues to go. We thought it was a great way to reveal him. I think people are going to be very happy with him in the movie. He has got a very interesting role in it. Now, this is when things get a little bit warm. The next question is, how big is that role? JR says, I think they'll be happy. AR says, I, I'll say this. Part of the fun of Spider-Man is that this film is basically a war amongst the Avengers and Spidey does not have the baggage that all these other characters have. He enters the story after the conflict that is happening between the Avengers and that gives him a very unique place in the story. Then the question goes on to the costume. There's been a lot of talk about the Spider-Man costume as well. A mixed reaction. What is your response to that? JR says, the design of the costume is what it is. That's the design that we have, that we love. It's the design that Kevin Feige loves and so on. He's a very popular character, so it's always going to be a bit controversial. People are always going to love or hate what you do with him. But all we can do is make sure that we love it, that we are true to ourselves and true to how we feel about the character, and then hope that everybody else digs it. AR says, part of issue is that we gave such a small impression of the character in that trailer. It's something of a Rorschach test, where people can pour as much of their Spidey anxieties out, but when they see the movie, that they are going to get a very big picture of a very complete character that they have never seen before. It's kind of hard to react to people's, people's reactions, but they will change radically when they see the movie. JR then says, and there is still F effects work that needs to be done. Clearly. Look like an animated cartoon. Look like a video game. Then the, the question is, uh, will he appear in Avengers of Infinity War? JR says to be determined. We'll see. Then the question then goes to, if he does appear in Avengers Infinity War, could we perhaps see his costume and his appearance evolve and change as we have, as we have seen with other characters? JR says... Without question, we like making strong choices with characters, so while this might be a slightly more traditional Steve Ditko influence suit, it is certainly in our vocabulary to develop it into something more extreme as the storytelling requires. I think there are things that people will discover when they see this when they see the film about why the suit operate the way it does. Why the eyes move. All that stuff is substan substantiated. Oh goodness, substantiated. Everybody wants the answers yesterday, but then what would be the point of seeing the movie? What we have learned, number one, is that 
in the film Civil War, we we get it's the evidence. We get the idea, the reason for why his eyes moved. That's what substantiated means. We they were told that why his eyes moves. We're told how his costume is the way it is. We're told all about that. Uh, whether or not he's going to appear in Avengers: Infinity War, they don't. They're not going to answer that. Uh, but yes, he is. Uh, and the role that he's going to have in this film is going to be is going to be an impactful role. Now, what do I think this means is the question. I think that th- that his role within the Civil War film is going to be this. He's a kid who gets the attention of uh, Iron Man. He's then brought in because he probably looks up to Iron Man. Think about it as he's a kid, though. He's a young kid. He's like, hey, I get to fight alongside Iron Man, whatever. Sure, that's cool. And things don't become real to him until somebody's life is put at risk or somebody dies. And I think his role is going to be the one that brings the humanity back into the fight. Like, guys, what's going on? Like, stop. What, what, what's happening? Perhaps Captain America is about to do that final blow to uh, Iron Man or Iron Man's about to do that final blow to Captain America, Captain America or somebody. I think Spider-Man's role is going to be the role of um, humanizing it. And I think it can be very, he's going to uh, have a traumatic experience, uh, per se. Not an ex- experience that kind of defines who he is as Spider-Man, but an experience that makes him uh, realize the, 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 just the weight that being a hero has. Because I think it's going to be this game to him at first. Like, you know, we're, I'm fighting with Iron Man, I'm fighting, you know, I'm fighting with these people. But I think something's going to happen within the film in which he is the media. He's the person that stops something from happening and something will happen that he sees that can have an impact on him that will then relate to the next to the Spider-Man film and will have the heroes in his life because something happens in Civil War. Say, for example, Iron Man dies. Um, uh, Even I don't think he's going to die because of what is said in this interview. And by the way, this is in the description as well. Uh, But in the interview, the next question is asked about uh, Iron Man and what whether or not he be recasted. And uh, and basically, the Russo brothers say that you wouldn't there they you wouldn't recast Iron Man. You would have Iron Man just disappear for a long time. It'd be a generational gap, and then just bring in somebody else to reboot the character because Robert Downey Jr. is. is that dude um he is iron man uh and they also said that in terms of currently that you could have somebody step up into that role not somebody step into the iron man role but somebody step into that prominent pivotal figure role in the mcu that iron man tony stark has uh and i think that's kind of what they're doing with spider-man in my opinion but Back to the role of Spider-Man in the Civil War. He's going to be that person that's imme- that mediate, not mediates, even though I've been saying that, but he's the person that's going to stop something from happening. His role is going to be pivotal. It's going to be, think of it like this. Iron Man and Captain America are fighting. Iron Man kills uh, Bucky and Cap loses it. Or Iron Man accidentally kills Bucky or something like that. Cap loses it and starts going to town on Tony. I'm talking about beating the living hell out of him. And Spider-Man is like, whoa. When he see he first sees that Bucky is dead, he's like, what's going on? Wait a minute. And then he's beating that. And Iron Man stops him and says, stop, you know, stop. Which then would cause Captain America to turn himself in. And then Spider-Man being this young kid in this environment, seeing all the stuff, seeing everything, he's not traumatized, but it, it's something that affects him. Like, oh my gosh! And the heroes, Captain America or Iron Man, one of them would see this, and that would be the reason for him, for them being in his life, Spider Man's life, in the Spider Man solo films, because of the event that happened in Civil War that affected Peter Parker, this 15, 16 year old kid, so greatly, or or something that a kid shouldn't see. And them seeing that, and th- that would be the reason for the heroes being in his life, and the uh, outside of the Civil War film. 
That's what I think his role is going to be. I think Spider-Man is going to be the happy-go-lucky guy. You know, he's just here. He's kind of, he's funny. He's comedic relief. He's, he's funny. Um, he's cool and everything. But things, and things for him won't get real until a certain point when someone's dead or almost going to die and something. And when things get real, Spider-Man is going to be the one that stops the heroes from going to that, that part, that, uh, stepping over that edge. Like, whoa, okay, wait a minute. Stop, 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 stop. Um, or or Spider-Man will see something, somebody die, and the heroes look and see Spider-Man, this kid seeing this, and like, oh my gosh. So I think he's going to bring the humanity back. That's what I think Spider-Man's role is going to be in this film. That's what I think. So, what do you guys think? Uh, am I wrong? Am I right? Am I wrong? I don't know. Let's have a conversation in the comment section below. As always, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for my video coming out. I'm actually going to film it as soon as this is done filming. I'm going to film the video in regards to Michelle Gonzalez, in regards to Zendaya. Um, and then I'm going to film my Venom video. I've been waiting on other people. The reason why the Venom video it had, hasn't went up was because it was going to be a collaboration. The collaboration isn't really happening, so I'm going to just make it myself. Uh, and that'll go up as well. So um, stay tuned for that on my channel. Subscribe if you do. If you like the channel, if you like the video, hit the like button. Subscribe. For more videos like this, I am Vinus Mian. As always, thank you all for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and my social networks are down there. Again, I'm Vinus Mian saying a like and subscribe. <laughs> Peace. Have a good one. Peace. Stay tuned for my next videos, and stay tuned for my past video. Look at the past video, uh, but stay tuned for next. Peace. Venom 2 million.